Hey everybody, it's the interview queen, Alicia Atute here, and I am so excited to be catching up with Chris Statlander. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. Doing great. I have some time off, so just, just doing nothing, a lot of nothing for once, which is wonderful. I was going to say, does that feel a little surreal for you? Because every time I see you, whether it's in person or in my feed, you are nonstop. Yeah, this has been the slowest week of 2019, which is insane because it's it's been literally nonstop, like at least three to four shows every week. And I'm just, I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so what is the plan? Do you have anything set up for the next few days or is the plan literally to do nothing? Pro uh, well, I mean, there's like productive things I can be doing, like cleaning my room, you know, <laughs> like that enjoying enjoying being home for a little bit but uh nothing super no like legit plans it's mostly just doing stuff around the house that I don't get to do because I'm never home right so. well part of that really busy year and one of the reasons that you haven't been home lately is the fact that you are now with AEW so a massive congrats in order that's amazing thank you thank you you're welcome when you first received that call or text or whatever it may have been what was running through your mind? Because you were one of those people that, like, you have really busted your chops to get to where you are. So I'm, I'm so happy for you. Um, you know, there's a lot of thoughts going through my mind because it was, like, the whole, like, thing with, oh, WWE was interested in me also and stuff. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of, um, like, stress with me because I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what was the right choice. Um, and you would think that it's, like, oh, it's a dream come true for anybody to be offered a contract. But for me, like, getting signed was never, like, an actual, like, legit goal of mine in wrestling. So, like, I was like, oh, am I going to be happy? Am I, like, is this going to be something I want to do and stuff? So I was very nervous. I was very stressed about it. But I am thoroughly enjoying all my time that I've been with AEW and all the opportunities they've given me so far. And I have no regrets about it. So... All is well. Amazing. That's so good to hear. And one of the things that I started to notice is once they started sharing clips from your recent matches, a lot of people are like, Chris really is an alien. Like her strength is ridiculous. <laughs> I suppose was there a moment where you realized, like, yeah, I'm I'm pretty damn strong. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It doesn't like click in my head because I'm just like, yeah, this is just stuff I'm doing. Like like, it's usually whenever I pick the big people up for, like, the electric chair thing that I do. Yeah. Like, my shoulders. But I'm just, like, you know, like, the logistics of doing it, it's, like, that's an easier way to carry someone and an easier way to pick them up. So, it's this is a better weight distribution thing for me. But I guess it's still, like, impressive. So, I don't know. I'm very, like, unaware of my abilities. So. Well, it's definitely something I couldn't do. So. <laughs> Now, something that typically goes hand in hand with being a wrestler is the working out aspect of it. Um, and for you, I know that's definitely something that you focus on. So I was wondering, do you listen to music while you're in the gym? Are you a podcast person? Uh, I listen to music. I'm a 100% music person in the gym. Okay. Um, but my music variety is just so askew. And there's just like so much random stuff. Like I have songs from musicals on my phone. And then I'll have like Kanye and then it's like eighties love songs. It's it's real weird. It gets Super weird. Eclectic. Um so if you could have any artists create some music for you to walk down the ramp into the ring, who would that be? Who would be that dream band? Oof. I don't know. I don't like follow music like that that intensely. And I really like the music that um the AEW guy, Mikey Ruckus, made for me. I think it's really cool. I, it was not what I was expecting at all. And it, it's like so much better than what I was expecting. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm cool with this. So I'm very <laughs> happy. Pleasant surprise. Was, so I'm cool with it. That's awesome. Um, so recently, a few months ago, we did a interview for High Spots and in the interview series that I had. And we talked about you being a stunt woman. And I was absolutely fascinated by it because like I kind of mentioned earlier, I'm a wimp. I can barely lift anything. And like, I see you doing these things. And I'm like, oh, what a badass, like, that's so cool. Um, and you, back then, had mentioned some of the crazier stunts you've done. So I was wondering if you had any time to dabble back into it. Is it kind of on the back burner right now? Or 
Um, yeah, right now, stunts is kind of like a in the past at the moment. Uh, it's obviously something I would love to get back into, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's just like wrestling where it's like, you never know what's going to happen with it. You never know how long things are going to take. You never know when you're going to be used for it. Um, and also you have to, uh, join the SAG after union to be able to work in stunts on TVs and movies. So I have the eligibility to join, but I just haven't, you know, paid to join the union because it's like pretty expensive. So, uh, it is something I would love to get back into and, it's something I absolutely love doing so much. But, um, you know, wrestling is just, like, like all my time right now. So I don't have the, um, like, the flexibility in the schedule right now to take time and be like, oh, I'll try out for this, and then maybe I'll get this job, and then, then, and then they'll tell me how much I'm needed for this and what days I'm going to be there. And you never know how long shoot days are going to be. So it's it's, like as unpredictable as wrestling is like stunts is even more unpredictable with like not knowing what you're getting yourself into ahead of time. So that's super unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Was, was there ever a dream stunt you wanted to do, whether it was like jumping off a building or a car chase? Cause I mean, those are kind of the things that I think about, um, you know, when you think of it on a bigger scale. Yeah. Um, so one thing I haven't done in stunts is any like, uh stunt driving and i know there's a like a stunt driving school in new jersey that i've been really wanting to go to for like the past few years so stunt driving is still something i want to learn um but i've done like at least in like training i've done like high falls where you just fall off like a 50 foot scaffolding onto the airbags i've done that before um like i've been on fire a few times i've gotten hit by cars uh We've done, um, like, armed and unarmed combat. Uh, so I've, done, I've done a lot of, like, stupid things, which is <laughs> me. But, um, but, yeah, so being able to do it on a larger scale, though, like, for a production is great. It's, like, that's obviously the dream. But I've done a lot of, like, the stupid stuff in training. So, like, I kind of know what to expect with all that stuff. And usually, right. like, whenever... Uh, stunts are hired for TV or movies. It's also not as like big of a thing as you'd expect it to be because I've done like background acting on sets where they've had stunts, and like one of them was like they just needed the stunt guy who's they're on like a foot chase, and um, it was for Law and Order SVU actually, and they had like the criminal like being chased by one of the main actors and. At one point in the park, he just tripped and falls. And they had a stunt guy for him to just trip and fall. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, it, it can be as, like, basic as that. Or it's, like, there was, like, one scene in, like, a subway a subway stop type thing where a girl got, like, pushed in front of a train. But not, like, it's not, like, actually, like, the train. But it's just she's pushed off the thing onto maps that are on the railroad. So it's, like, it's not that big of a stunt. Or there's another one where they they were like at it's like um what is it is it Woodstock is that like that concert the festival yeah okay cool um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, close one <laughs> yeah they uh they were like remaking like the scene from that so it's like everyone was like under the influence and stuff so they had someone like falling off a stage into people's arms and that was a stunt so it's like some of the stunts that they have are like very very basic and it's just like if there's any risk to the actor they'll bring a stunt they'll bring a stunt person in so it's like not all stunts are as like crazy as you'd think but right yeah especially like just... the trip and fall one that was like yeah <laughs> really really but, <laughs> mm-hmm I think I just learned, like, I didn't know any of that. So yeah. there you have it, guys. Chris has all the knowledge. <laughs> all the inside info. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for catching up with me today. I know that the holidays are right around the corner, and I'm very glad that you get to just relax, take it easy. So thanks for taking a few to hang out. Anytime. All right. Well, I, hope to, I hope to see you sooner than later. Enjoy the holidays, and thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye.